Okay, the video demo with that uh, is supplied at the KSketch website is not half bad, but it is a little fast and the current KSketch interface is slightly different. So let's take a somewhat more leisurely tour. Uh, first of all, I find it helpful to click on the tools uh, button here and show the timeline ticks. And now we have a better idea what kind of time we're putting in. Uh, first of all, let's do a simple countdown demo. This will uh, change abruptly rather than continuously just to give you some feel for how animation works. So first we'll draw five, then we'll move along a half second take the eraser, get rid of the five, you can see that the erasing goes by individual strokes and we have a sort of shadowy five here which can help us with uh, bit by bit animation to get things lined up in the same place. So we'll draw, whoops, gotta go back to getting a pen, we'll draw four here, move the animation along, get the eraser, erase the four, get the pen, draw three, move it along and we'll just keep going. Two. Okay, advance the animation. One. Whoops. Get the pen. One. Advance the animation. And erase. Let's choose a different pen color and we'll just draw go. And now we're done. We'll tap the um, the button here to rewind and just play the animation. Okay, um, there are tick marks left whenever something changes and we can drag these to uh, change the timing. For example, let's um, make things a little quicker at the beginning. We'll, we can move these to quarter seconds. Uh, you can see that everything to the right is dragged and everything to the left is compressed. So we'll just compress those first few transitions and let's lengthen some of the end ones to make a little bit of suspense here perhaps. Okay, let's rewind and play back again. So the first few go quickly and the last ones are drawn out. Okay, let's do some drawing now and uh, be aware that we're not animating just yet. I'm going to uh, draw a car and notice that I drew this whole car body without lifting the pen. Um, if you use the eraser, it's done by strokes, so my only option at this point, if I wanted to remove the underbody here, is to erase the entire car. So I'll select the pen again, and for that reason, it's probably a good idea to lift your pen periodically and do the drawing in chunks. So I'm lifting the pen now. I'll draw the underbody. Now suppose I want to have uh, spaces for the tires. Since I did this in two strokes, I can erase this bottom part here, get the pen again, and then draw this differently. And now I'll draw some tires and some windows and uh, headlights, bumpers, you get the idea. Now let's draw a road underneath it. I'll uh, make it red. Just have a different color for that. Now let's talk about selecting objects. Uh, to select an object you need to uh, press an alternate key which is basically any key on the keyboard. So I'll just um, press a key here and now the cursor becomes a lasso. So if I want to select an object, I just circle it 
and uh, now the object manipulation uh, icon appears. So I'll move the car. Uh, notice I didn't select the whole car. Uh, to be part of an object, a stroke, a pen stroke has to be completely encircled. So um, I'll undo here to move the car back and uh, tap outside and now let's uh, circle it again. This time I'll make a great big circle. Notice that the circle uh, gets part of the road, but because I don't encircle the entire road, it's not selected. So that's a pretty good uh, strategy for defining objects. And now I can move this uh, car object around. Now notice that if I grab the object in the center, I do what in physics would be called translation without rotation. I can move this thing around and it retains the same orientation with respect to the screen. If I grab by any of these circles, I can rotate the object. If I grab by these corners, I can resize the object. And let me straighten it out a little bit. And if I grab by these parts, I can stretch the object. And similarly, if I do the up-down, I can make the object fatter or skinnier. And um, if I grab by these parts, I like to call this guiding it by the leash. So it will sort of follow around as I drag it. So those are the major ways for, use, for, for moving an object of other things to co cover before we get to animation. Uh, once we've selected an object, we have this menu down here. We can tap on it. If I tap move handle, I can now reposition the handle relative to the object. Okay, so if I want the, the handle to be centered on the, um, the hood here, um, now, uh, if we rotate the car, for example, it will use a different pivot point. Uh, and the other thing we can do is if we rotate the handle, the handle will turn without the object if we want that to be oriented differently for some reason. And the system actually mem remembers this somehow. So uh, if we select the object again, Um, the handle orientation is retained. So now when the handle is straight, the car is tipped. All right, in the next section, we'll talk about actually animating an object.